Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech with Joanne. I'm Joanne and in today's video, I'm just going to be briefly talking about bridging and swapping your tokens inside of the um, Polygon blockchain, Ethereum blockchain, and whatever blockchain you're using. So I do want to make a clear distinction between bridging and swapping so that you guys understand exactly what I mean between the two. So when you're bridging, you are moving something like a token from one blockchain to another blockchain. In the past, there wasn't really a way to, if you had something on one blockchain, it was there. I mean, there really wasn't a way to move things over from one blockchain to another. So that's why bridges were created. So now what a bridge is, is essentially what its name is. It's a bridge. So you have one blockchain and you have another blockchain and there's a bridge in between the two that allows you to move things like tokens between the two. So if you have something on the Ethereum blockchain and you want to move it over to the Polygon blockchain, what you would do is that you would bridge it. So bridging essentially means you're just moving it from one blockchain to another. I'm also going to cover swapping. Swapping is different because swapping, you're not moving it between blockchains. You're just essentially changing over one token into another token. So let's say for instance, you have, um, I'm going to show you maybe some USDC. So let's say for instance, you have some USDC on the Polygon um, blockchain and you want to actually change the USDC into some Matic. You're not moving it from the Polygon blockchain. The only thing you're doing is that you're actually just changing one token over into another token. So that's the difference between the two. A bridge is essentially to move between blockchains. Swapping is when you already have something on that blockchain and you just want to change it into something else like USDC Tomatic or ETH in Tomatic. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you how to do both of these things and I'll try and make it as simple as possible. Okay. So you just want to go to polygon.technology. This is the polygon website where you can learn everything that you need to know about polygon. Definitely go to this website and check it out. So we're just going to go to use polygon and we're going to do the bridge. So it's just going to ask me to connect my MetaMask. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So once you're logged into your MetaMask, just go ahead and log in and it will bring you to this page right here for you to select what you want to do. So I'm just going to select Polygon Bridge. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to bridge something from the Ethereum chain over into the Polygon chain. Now, I don't currently have anything on my Ethereum chain inside of my MetaMask, so it's not actually going to go through with through for me, but I'm just going to show you exactly how to do it in case you do have something on your Ethereum chain that you want to switch over to your Polygon chain or another chain. I do want you at least to at least know the steps. All right. So as it shows right here, you're already on the Ethereum chain. So you just want to go ahead and select that. And we're on deposit as well so you can do deposit and you can do withdraw so from here you can actually choose any token that's on the ethereum chain so you have some available tokens here and then it says transfer to polygon because that's what we're going to be doing you're going to be transferring whatever token you have from the ethereum and you're going to be moving it or bridging it over to the polygon network so you would just go ahead and you would select whatever it is that you need to select and you're transferring it to polygon so since you're connected to your wallet it's actually going to show you everything that you have um, and what's available for you so you definitely want to pay attention to what is it that you already have in your wallet you're not going to be bridging if you don't already have tokens in your wallet because there's nothing for you to move you have to have something there in order to move it so this is for everyone that have tokens on one chain that they're not using this is a good way to put it to good use you can just go ahead and bridge it over to another chain so that you can actually start using those tokens that are just sitting there so they're in deposit and then you can also do withdraw so withdraw from the polygon chain and then if i click on this it'll show that i do have a little bit of matic inside of my um polygon uh chain on my metamask so it will allow me to take this matic from my polygon 
blockchain and actually move it over to the Ethereum blockchain. So that's how it works. And that's why you have to connect your wallet so that the system can actually see what you have inside of your wallet. Um, it's just easier that way if it connects so that they can see what you have. And you can do this um, pretty seamlessly when you do it that way. So again, you can deposit, you can withdraw all from right here on the Polygon bridge. Um, so that it makes it super easy for you to do it if you're doing it between some uh, blockchain and polygon it's just easier to do it over here so the next place where you can do the very same thing bridging from one blockchain to another is a site called xpollinate and it's xpollinate.io so what you want to do is you just you're just going to go to this website and it's pretty simple as well just like the last website you're just going to pick which chain you want to use so on here you can see there are different chains and all of these chains will definitely show up over here as well it's just that i don't have them connected on my metamask so whatever chains you have connected on your metamask will show up here as well um, i don't have it connected so i can also connect right here where it says connect and then it will it will show me exactly what's on mine but i'm not going to connect just for the sake of you guys seeing all of the different chains that it has so you can select which chain you have as you can see it has quite a bit and you can swap it over to these same exact chains so let's say for instance i had something on ethereum and then it will show me all of the ethereum tokens right here so i'm just going to do let's say i have um no let's say i have some eth on ethereum and i want to take it over to polygon and what it's going to do is just going to give me some wrapped eth and wrapped eth is just eth on the polygon network so i can take eth from one blockchain and take it over to another blockchain and pretty much i'm bridging it between chains so typically uh this eth would have stayed on my ethereum blockchain forever until i did something with it now with the help of a bridge I can now put my tokens that I'm not using to use. So if you have any tokens that you're not using, um, I do have a little bit of this as well. Um, if you have any tokens that you're not using, using a bridge to actually move it over to another blockchain is super useful, especially when it comes to uh, creating your smart contracts. It's super easy to take some ETH, move it over into wrapped ETH and then take that wrapped ETH and then swap it into Matic. And I'm go I am going to show you guys how to swap, but I just wanted to um, cover bridging first because it's very useful. Um, I have a lot of tokens that I'm not using. So when I need them, I actually use one of these bridges and I bring it over to the blockchain that I want it on so that I can actually put that token to use. So that's what bridging is. Um, I want to be clear. I want to make sure you guys understand bridging is when you're moving one token from one blockchain and you're taking it over to a different blockchain all right so that you can actually use it now i don't know if i said this before i think i did but you need to have the token inside of the original blockchain um you can't just move it if it's not there so whatever tokens you have go ahead and bridge it and put it to use okay so next what i'm going to show you show you is i'm just going to show you exactly how to swap um, your tokens. So let's say for instance now you have like I did ETH. So let's go back to the ETH So I have my ETH on Ethereum and I, I bridged it over to my polygon. So now I have the wrapped ETH um, So let's say for instance now I want to take the wrapped ETH and I actually want to uh, Swap it into something else. I'm just going to go back to the polygon um, Wallet site that I'm on and I'm just going to click on token swap so now what it does is that you see this ETH here, so it will show me the tokens. Um, so let me just search it really quickly and see if they have it. So right here where it says Ether, POS, WEATH. Um, so this is the wrapped ETH. This is ETH on the Polygon network. So like I was saying earlier, the difference between bridging and swapping. Bridging is taking it from one blockchain to another. Swapping is when I already have some a token on one blockchain. And the only thing I want to do is I just want to change it over into a brand new token. I don't want to move it from that blockchain. I just want to switch it over. So I have this wrapped ETH on my Polygon blockchain. So I'm just going to click on that. 
and I want to take that and I want to change it into some Matic, right? So let's say for instance, I have this ETH here and I would need Matic to be able to deploy my smart contracts. This is a great way to do it. So for those of you that are using like the Matic faucets, I do have a video on that and I will link it in the description where I show you how to get Matic for free. I also have a video where I show you how to buy Matic, but let's say for instance, the faucet is all out. Um, it, you can't get anything for free, but you do have some other tokens already on your polygon um, blockchain so you just want to go ahead and you want to swap that over for a little bit of Matic just so that you can deploy your smart contracts this is where swapping comes in handy because if you have something that you're not using or you can spare just a little bit of it then go ahead and swap that token into some Matic so that you can actually go ahead and deploy your smart contracts and this works the other way as, as well so let's say for instance you had some Matic that was just sitting around you're not using you could swap that into something else and the same thing goes if you had some let's say I showed you guys how to purchase some USDC from um, one of the websites that I showed you in my other my last video for those of you that were in America and you weren't able to buy any Matic directly, I showed you how to purchase some USDC. So if you purchase USDC or if you already have some USDC and it's on the Polygon blockchain, the only thing you would need to do is you would need to come and you would swap it out. So you would select your USDC from the list. And as you can see, it says that you're changing it over into some Matic. And then down here, we'll just approve and review swap. So you'd be able to actually go ahead and change over this USDC into Matic. And it shows you here one USDC is 0 0.06 such and such Matic. All right, so it's just that simple. If you have tokens that you're not using or if you bought some tokens already and you're really confused about what to do with them and you want to put them to use, to use then what you're going to do is you're just going to either bridge it using the Polygon bridge or something like Xpollinate bridge from one blockchain to another, or you're going to go ahead and you're going to swap out that token for some Matic or whatever token you need so that you can actually put the token to good use. Okay guys, I hope this was not confusing. If you have any questions, anything that I need to clarify, definitely put it down inside of the comment section because I'm here to answer your questions. I do wanna try and explain this stuff um, as simple as possible. Sometimes I can get a little bit complicated and technical and I do my best not to make it complicated. Um, so I hope you understand the difference between bridging and swapping. If you don't, once again, bridging is is when you're moving tokens between blockchains swapping is when you're simply changing a token into another token but it's still on the same blockchain all right guys so again if you have any questions definitely drop your comments down below i will answer your questions i do my best to come back around and answer all of your questions um, because i really want you guys to be able to uh, get your smart contracts deployed and you know do whatever it is that you need to do with your crypto um so i'm just here trying to help you guys out so definitely like this video give me a thumbs up i have more um videos coming again not just nft related but just tech related period um so i have some more videos coming um so hopefully you guys like this video definitely like it Go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, so that you can get more of my content and definitely hit that notification bell so that you are updated for when I post. I do my best to try and post every Sunday. Sometimes I miss a Sunday, but I do my best to try and post on every Sunday and give you guys weekly content. All right, so like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.